Okay, guys, you can see my room is destroyed. I went to clean out the 75, and I got super mad at sump, so I decided that I'm uh, halfway through uh, cleaning out the tank that I am done with that sump, and I went out and uh, I got some more different stuff, and I modified the overflow uh, to accommodate that um, because I just got really tired and I got really annoyed with it, so I just took it down completely. Uh, the sump, not the tank, took down the sump completely, and, um, put, uh, got a tote, got a trickle tower, uh, modified the overflow a little bit, and, um, yeah, that one can hold about four times as much media, even though it has half the amount of drawers as the other one does, um, and this one's a lot more, um, better, I'm a lot more happier with this one, um, because it's just basically how I should have done it in the first place. Um, I do not like having to move my bed though, um, because I like my bed in that corner over there. Because other, if I, anywhere else I put it, it's in front of a window, as you can see, and I do not like that. So yeah, but I have to deal with it. Uh, this is only temporary until I get that bigger tank set up here, and hopefully the next couple of months. Um, hopefully within, it's going to be before the end of summer though. I can guarantee that. It's just um, whenever I actually end up finishing the tank, that's the question. I'm not sure how long it's going to actually take to set up the tank. Um, but hopefully I'll be getting started on that project here within the next couple of months, because um, it's going to be a huge, huge undertaking, and I'm not, I'm going to wait till school's out to be to do that, because um, it's just going to be too much with school. Um, so I'm going to wait till the summer um, break, so that way I can uh, just put all my time and effort effort towards that. Um, so I get out of school June 10th, so right around in there is when I should be starting that uh, tank setup then, which would be pretty cool. Um, yep, um, these guys are doing really good. I got four new, uh, convicts. I got four albinos. Um, there's one of them. Yep, I got four of those, uh, albinos and albinos in there. And I put the small bluegills in there. I don't know, they might have killed them already. I don't know. They're hiding, probably. Um, but there are, oh, there's one way up there. There are those four big bluegills in there that I took out of the 75 because I, I just got tired of them being in there. There's just too many fish in there. And I felt bad for them, and so I just didn't really care for those guys, so I just took them out. This tank's looking really good. I didn't get around to decorating or anything because it took the better part of five, four or five hours to uh, clean out the tank, decide I'm going to redo the sump, do it, redo the sump, and then just fill it back up and get it all working and work out all the kinks and everything. So that was fun. Um, I'm a lot happier with this. Um, same water pump, same heater, same stuff to that effect. It's just, um, it's a lot more uh, better. As you can see, there are the two um, T's down here. Each one having its own amount of flow. It goes over the screen, which makes it trickle down onto a filter pad, the blue filter pad. Um, it's more in the rate size filter floss. Um, there's a light diffuser. Light diffuser, it's called Egg Crate. If people call it Egg Crate, but it's light diffuser. If you want to buy it in like a hardware store, that's what you, that's what it's called. It goes to this filter, fine filter, this filter floss mesh stuff. And then I have this uh, pond filter over there. And it had these two um, really core, super thick rings, um, like foam rings. And I put those in there. There's one of them. Um, and then I just packed this filter floss around it so that way the, like, the water, no matter where it went in there, would get filtered. Then it goes. Um, it goes into more white uh, filter floss, blue foam, uh, not blue foam, um, blue filter floss that's bonded, marine then the right size bonded filter floss. Um, then I have a little um, tray right there. It has it suspended above it um, because I didn't have no um, extra biological media on hand. Uh, and then in the bottom drawer is just all bio media and it's just a uh, bunch of sponges and like 18 to... Uh, it's like a th it's a circumference. The Bible is like a circumference of two inches. It's about two inches big, um, and there's about 18 of those in there. And then there's about um, I want to say 12 to 18 sponge like pot scrubby sponges things that you can get at dollar store um, for biological media. Um, and then these little sponges right there, you can kind of see it. Uh, you can, I yeah, let's see, let's see. Um, here. I can pull this by it. That's what it is. This is like a regular sponge. And it's just a bunch of holes drilled into it. 
You can see down there. And it's gonna work really. It's gonna work ten times more better. Uh, it's kind of an overstatement, but still, thanks crystal clear. It looks amazing. I'm really happy with it. That beats this old piece of crap sump. I'm probably gonna put that tank outside because we're going fishing tomorrow. Because it's actually supposed to be warm for once. It's supposed to be like almost six degrees out, which is like unheard of considering it's like the coldest winter we've ever had in Indiana. Um, it got down at negative 35 degrees, which is you have no idea how cold that is until you actually feel it. You can't walk outside without getting risk of getting frostbitten. You can literally stand outside. If you had bare hands outside for five minutes, you'd literally get frostbitten. You, you could risk your hands having to be amputated. It's that cold, which is ridiculous. Um, but yeah, so it's going to be six degrees out tomorrow. It's one of the warmest days we've had so far this year. Um, it's, most of the days have been like in the high 50s. Um, for the past couple of weeks, uh, it just finally warmed up. It was like in the 20s, 30s for the, all the year. Um, after, well, it went from negative 35 and slowly got warmer and warmer up to about 20, 30, and it stayed there for like a couple months. And then it got, finally, a couple weeks ago, it got up to about 40, and then it's gradually starting to go back up. And now it's about, it's going to be like a high of 58, 9, or 60 tomorrow. So we're going to go fishing. Uh, if I see anything I like, um, like small bluegills or something to that effect, like minnows, I might keep them, put them in this tank because I have an extra filter laying around somewhere, and um, just put it outside or something. I don't, this, I don't need a light or anything. This is something to look at, I guess. Uh, the snails are doing good over there. Um, don't worry, this is root beer, root beer, root. You can't see root beer on there, but it's root beer. Don't worry about that. It's root beer. Um, it's the snails are doing really good in there. And, um, yeah. So, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to any future videos. Um, the fish are doing really good. They're happy. Um, this tank's going to be crystal clear. It's going to be so much more better um, for them. It's just going to be a lot more healthier environment for them. Um, there's just so much more media that can be fit, fit in there. And it's just a lot more more efficient way of filtrating a tank. So, it has a canister filter down there. A sump down over there. And two power filters up there. So, this tank has more and more than enough filtration. So, that's pretty cool. Um, the fish are doing really good, like I already said, multiple times. I got the airstone in there for right now. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll finish future videos. Look at all this junk I have laying around down here. And uh, yeah, see you next video, guys. Adios. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Bye.